How you tracking me? Focus. My focus to spy on me. How is that possible? Gimana caranya? Every focus emits a signal, a voice that only other focuses can hear. I know how to string those voices together, how to make them talk to each other, to communicate even over vast distances. How do you learn to do that? Years of study and experimentation. In principle, it's not so difficult to override machines. Coba bertahun-tahun dan juga bereksperimen. And you can spy through other eclipses focuses too. Usually. All I'll say is that overriding the connections is complicated. Ya, udah enggak, enggak hidup sih. Ya, hidup sobek setiap. Is there any chance that Elizabeth Sobek could still be alive somehow? Tapi dia diinkubasi juga kan. But not impossible. Some of the ancient data I've recovered includes mentions of life extension techniques. Yep. Pharmaceuticals mostly, an ancient word for medicine. But some were still trying to perfect ways of freezing and unfreezing people. Yep, membekukan orang. Freezing and unfreezing people? <coughs> Cryogenics they called it. Cryogenics, yep. But there were problems with it. Given Elizabeth's technological acumen, I can't definitively rule out that she found a way to make herself immortal. But this is speculation, wasting time. Okay. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Osram call it the Grave Ford. Cherry name. You'll find it in the eastern mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a middle devil or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't okay. wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved. Well, getting down will be a lot faster than getting up here, at least. <laughs> U.S. Robot Command next. To learn the secrets of Zero Dawn. But I've sent a messenger to the claim to let everyone know. I'm glad you're back. I'm at a loss about Ursa. To learn she lives, then lose that hope seems cruel. She wouldn't want us to waste time talking. She'd want us to find Durval. She said he raved about smoke darkening the sun. Tell him what you found in his papers. A letter. It mentioned a shipment of Blaze being sent to a warehouse here. Only, it wasn't addressed to Duval. The name was Ayland Forgeman. Does that mean anything to you? Uh, sounds familiar. Yes, a landlord. The Osaram have been buying up buildings across the city, including one under that name. Let me think. It's by the edge of the Mesa, near the temple. It used to be a shop, but it could serve as a warehouse. If Durval used the name as an alias to buy it, he might even be there now. I'll round up my men. I'll meet you there. Aaron, wait. Remember that no one hates Durval more than your own tribe. The clans would give up much to obtain him. Take him alive? So you can haggle over him? You can't be serious! Our security depends on keeping the peace. If the opportunity presents itself, take him alive. Consider that a command. <clears throat> Aloy, a moment, please. When we spoke, Aaron didn't wish to dwell on the details of Ursa's death. Understandable, of course. But now that they've been left to my imagination, those details are all I can think about. You were there. Did she suffer? She wasn't worried about her pain. She was worried about her brother. Yep. And she was worried about you. Thank you, Aloy. I suppose I needed to know I was as much on her mind as she is on mine. 
Find Durval and bring him before me. He will answer for his crimes. The talk to Abbott. Talk to Abbott. This is the place. Budang ya, Pak. You home, Durval? I got a surprise for you. Enggak ada sih. What the hell? Bom. Or he has a surprise for us. Is it a bomb? Doesn't look too big. Big enough to kill us. All right, I'll shut up. If I try to take it apart, a booby trap will set it off. Yeah, the bomb, anjir. It's a bomb, all right. Well crafted. Blaze. It must be leaking from something yeah, upstairs. That's a lot of blaze. If that bomb downstairs goes off, it'll be just what Durval promised. Smoke will darken the sun as the city goes up in flames. There's there's got to be a way to stop it. If we can get rid of it somehow, the blast will be much smaller. If that bomb goes off, the blaze will ignite in a firestorm. Maybe there's some way I can open this window to get rid of the fuel for the bomb. Okay. It looks like a wooden bracket. Not very strong. Yep, get it, Baba. Help me push this out. Okay. Brute force. I'm good at that. What'll it do? Save the city, I hope. But when the blaze falls, run for it. Because the booby trap on the bomb downstairs is gonna get set off. Uh, will we survive? Probably not. Now push. Was I was my luck? Hmm. We did it! Durval's best shot, and Meridian's still standing. This is over. Durval said he'd make a Vod watch. No way. To do that, he'd have to get into the palace. Now that's too heavily guarded. Get back there, just to be sure. <coughs> I'm gonna look around. Durval masih ada sekitar sini atau? Durval's men left something behind when they planted that bomb. Yep. I got it. Don't worry. He tries for the palace. He's finished. Boot tracks with just a bit of blaze in them. Good thing they're not. Get rid of the fire and shut up a bucket line. What happened? I haven't heard a blast like that since the liberation. I have a matter of grace and beauty I would like to discuss with you. There are no shadows. There's smoke rising from the edge of the mesa. Are we under attack? The tracks lead inside. Another one of Durval's hideouts. Mm. This must Whoa. be where Durval assembled the detonator. He tunneled through the wall. Durval did find a way into the palace. Ajar masuk pak.
Yeah, no, no. Tiny Derval. Derval. Oh, Derval. Ikutin teman-teman. We should. Okay, no more. Tiba ada orang sini ambil. Hello. Mungkin dulu, mungkin mungkin dulu obat. Kalau obatnya tak lumayan. Ah, enggak cukup. Ah, kita pakai yang ini aja, teman. Ini aja dulu. sama anak buahnya King Afat The wriggling runt of a maniac king You robbed me of my right to kill your father So I'll have to settle for you I'm going to enjoy watching the carja burn Even more because you'll be watching okay, ini, Pak. Yang Say kayak goodbye to Meridian of Oz Si Ersa Kayak ultrasonic gitu teman-teman Makanya dia, mereka pake kayak penutup telinga gitu Something's wrong I, I didn't hear anything. There's a bit of smoke rising from the mesa's edge. No, it should be a firestorm, not some belt from a charcoal burner. Okay, kita dia anakkan itu pak. Ledakan bomnya tadi udah nggak hidup. Gancur. What's this? Oh, you must be the Nora who bushwhacked my camp and disabled your bomb. Did you now? Well, bomb or no bomb, I'm gonna splatter that throne with blood. First yours, then Avad's. Oh shit. Oh shit, manggil para Green Hawk Oke, 
never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Majestic, murderous glint hawks. I hope you like fighting me, because there's more in the way. I don't know. Do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. Ah. I hope you like things because there's more in the way. Nice. Oh, masih banyak, Pak. Majestic, murderous glint hawks. Never do the work if you can get a machine to do it for you. No, bro. Let's go. Let's go. Main pak pengen dapat potion juga di sini bro. Di stage sini tak teman. Kader fal, semua rencanamu sudah gagal. But I'm used to it. As much as I wish Ursa was here to kill you, I don't mind doing it for her. Go ahead. I'm not afraid. Except that knowing you, Aaron, you'll screw it up. Ngapat? you are afraid of going back to mainspring in chains every clan in the claim wants you dead and they know how to make it hurt they'll even bid for the privilege it's just like you to get someone else to do your killing shut up you're at the sun king's mercy now penjara aja Tapi dibawa ke katanya ke ini ke orang-orang yang pernah di penjara gara-gara Dar Darval jadi bahkan disiksa nih. Nice. Oke. 
Thì là Phật Aloy To say you have my gratitude feels woefully insufficient You saved my life You saved Meridian Meridian And because of you there will be justice for Ursa's murder We can mourn her knowing the truth Without painful uncertainty It's hard to imagine where we'd be without you And I don't want to try I hope you will consider staying in Meridian Were you and Ursa, you know? I suppose it's obvious how I feel, how I felt about her. She didn't just give me advice; she gave me strength. Ya, sepertinya King Alfred punya perasaan sama Ursa. Relations between the Karja and Osiram in Meridian were unsteady as it was. The union of the Sun King and an Osiram warrior would have led to open revolt in the city, and probably war with the Karja. Tapi orang Osiram dan Karja nggak bisa Only one, Dervo. He wanted Ursa, but she rejected him, and so jealousy became yet another of his hateful motivations. Rupanya si Dervo juga menyukai Ursa. What exactly will happen to Dervo? For now. He'll languish in one of the old cells under the Sun Ring here in Meridian. As for what happens after we negotiate his extradition to Mainspring, I don't want to think about it. My father was very creative when it came to inflicting suffering, but some Osiram devices surpass even his imaginings. What a waste! Derval is a brilliant man. I wonder what he would have accomplished if it weren't for my father's cruelty. I know who attacked the Nora. A faction of Shadow Karja called the Eclipse. Eclipse. They're digging up ancient machines, weapons they want to use to strike Meridian. I see. What you're saying echoes whispers I've heard from Marad, a Shadow Karja splinter group, corrupted machines across the land. When will the attack come? Do you know? I'm not sure yet. Belum tahu, Pak. We will do what we can to prepare. Keep me informed if you learn. Sedanya uh, King Avat bakalan mendukung mereka kita 100%, teman-teman. Shall we talk some more? Why do you want me to stay in Meridian? Well, I would think that would be obvious. Not to me. Huh. Well, to start with, you kept the city from going up in flames. You were strong, shrewd, and and capable. I could use someone like you at my side. Hmm. Akhirnya, sepertinya. Thank you for the offer, but I don't think either you or I are ready for that. At least, not yet. I've got a long way to go before I find what I'm looking for, and it's going to take me far from Meridian. Well, of course. I I didn't mean to presume. Jadi bapak salting si King Alfred. Please, remember that you're always welcome here. Sidanya si Aloy sudah menemukan tempat di mana dia bisa diterima dengan tangan terbuka, pak. Tidak seperti di Nora. I have to go. I understand. Ah, you're back. Did you bring me something lovely? These metal flowers. What are? No one knows. Perhaps wrathful one. Uh, thread. Bisa nggak? Bisa, teman. Cukup pak. Puluh pak. Till we meet again. Could you spare a moment to speak of the fire thing? Tere. sama Eren Hey Loy. I was just thinking about Ursa. She would have killed Durval on the spot. 
I know it. That's why she went out to meet him in the first place, to put him down. But she also told me to grow up. I gotta admit it burned a little when she said that, but I'm trying to take it to heart. And I guess growing up means putting what you should do in front of what you want to do. Me? Right? <laughs> you're asking me? I'm pretty <laughs> sure you're older. Yeah, but I don't act like it, do I? <laughs> you did with Draval. Don't give me too much credit. Part of me still wants to wait for a quiet moment and wring his neck. Yeah, but you won't. Because you're a good Ca captain. Captain. Come on, stop. You're gonna make me tear up. <laughs> so, after all this, what's next for Aaron Vanguard? Uh, heading back to the claim for a while. I'll get in touch with my clan and we'll lay Ursa to rest properly. Yep. Well, like how she would have And by that I mean less chit chat, more drinking. What do you think the Osirim will do to Durval? First off, they'll argue about it for a long time. But whatever they come up with, it won't be quick. I can live with that. In fact, I might just drop by his cell under the sun ring to remind him what's coming. Well, okay. Goodbye. I know. You gotta go. Killers to track, machines to master, all before breakfast. <laughs> You know what? When we met, I thought I was a big shot talking to a pretty girl hidden away in the middle of nowhere. Now I see that I was just lucky to get a minute of your time. Try not to forget about me while you're out there changing the world. I'll always have a minute for you. Maybe even two. Two? Huh. She likes me. <laughs> Okay.